continuing to follow breaking news at 5 o'clock. That's after reports of a man in the parking lot at Hammond Eastside High School with a gun. Lots of parents out there concerned about the situation. WDSU's Aubrey Killian has been live there at the school with the very latest. Aubrey. Hey guys, that's right. Yeah, we're actually right here on scene. I want to give you the very latest. Take a look. We're just going to kind of pan around and show you everything um, that is happening at this very moment. I just spoke with a student. Actually, her name's Autumn. If you're able to come over here, Autumn, and talk to us real briefly. Uh, you said your sibling is at the school currently. Yes, she's in seventh grade. Tell me what is going through your head right now. I'm, I'm just nervous. I want him to be okay, and I want him to be home with me. And normally, me and my brother fight a lot, and now I'm just like, I'm not going to fight with him anymore. It's emotional. I yeah. I almost started crying earlier. I was like, I can't cry. I can't. I got to stay strong for him. And, and when you see all of the, these cops on campus, it, it, it's, it's, it's a lot. Yeah, it is. And they were like, you just have to leave. You have to leave him. And I'm like, I'm not leaving my brother. Like is not happening. They're like, well, we don't want y'all to be caught in crossfire in case something happens. I'm like, I don't care. Okay. Well, Autumn, I, I'm, I'm glad you're okay and positive thoughts and prayers sent, sent to your family right now. So guys, if we're able to just pan over, I want to show you just the incredible amount of sheriff's cars that are out here, police cars that are out here. It does appear that some of the buses uh, have lined up and may have been kind of getting ready to exit campus, but there is hundreds of parents that are waiting for answers. We are um, hoping to get an update from the Hammond, Hammond Police Department at this moment. But all of this after it appears that somebody came on campus, possibly with a gun, massive response from law enforcement. I will keep you posted all throughout the evening on this developing and breaking story. Reporting live in Hammond, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News.